Greetings, friends. Pray you're doing well out there. Um, have a message for a few today, and it's to do with praise and worship. It's in 1 Samuel chapter 16, and we'll be reading from verse 14. And it reads, But the Spirit of the Lord departed from Saul, and an evil spirit from the Lord troubled him. And Saul's servants said unto him, Behold now, an evil spirit from God troubleth thee. Let our Lord now command thy servants, which are before thee, to seek out a man who is a cunning player on an harp, and it shall come to pass, when the evil spirit from God is upon thee, that he shall play with his hand, and thou shalt be well. And Saul said unto his servants, Provide me now a man that can play well, and bring him to me. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite, that is cunning in playing, and a mighty valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the Lord is with him. Wherefore Saul sent messengers unto Jesse, and said, Send me David thy son, which is with the sheep. And Jesse took an ass laden with bread, and a bottle of wine, and a kid, and sent them by David his son unto Saul. And David came to Saul, and stood before him. And he loved him greatly, and he became his armor-bearer. And Saul sent to Jesse, saying, Let David, I pray thee, stand before me, for he hath found favor in my sight. And it came to pass, when the evil spirit from God was upon Saul, that David took an harp, and played with his hand. So Saul was refreshed and was well, and the evil spirit departed from him. The evil spirit departed from Saul once David was playing music with an harp. That's the power of music. Music is a gift from God. If you've seen other videos on this channel exposing the music industry, we see how much of a powerful tool it is it was made to worship and glorify the Lord. And we see there in this passage that literally the right music with the Spirit of God has the ability to expel demons. That's how powerful music is. So I want to bring to your attention, whoever you are that has ears to hear me, what type of music are you listening to? What type of music are you digesting in your ears and your eyes, which are windows and gates into your heart, which we are to protect with all diligence. What are you letting seep into your heart? What sort of music are you listening to? Is the music you're listening to, is it inviting the warmth and the presence of the Holy Spirit? Or is it attracting demons and the devil? Is the music that you're listening to inviting the presence of the Holy Spirit, praising and worship Him? Or is it praising and worshiping idols and false gods of this world? Because any other music, if you listen to it today, it's just fruitless. It, it doesn't glorify God. It blasphemes God. It just talks about fornication and drugs and all this rubbish, all this nonsense. That's all it talks about. So I want you to think of wherever you are, whether that's your, your workplace, your home, your car, as an atmosphere. What type of atmosphere are you creating? Are you creating a pure, a light, a holy atmosphere? Or are you creating a unholy, defiled, dirty atmosphere? Because if you're listening to secular music, worldly music that doesn't glorify God, that's swearing, that's blaspheming God, all, all that stuff, you're basically saying, yeah, I'm okay with this. I'm okay with him um, cussing out God. I'm okay with him talking about drugs and all this sort of stuff. And that opens up doorways for the enemy. That's literally opening up doorways for Satan to have a foothold in your life.
that's not a good place to be. The Bible says, give no foothold to the devil, neither give any place to the enemy. Not even to let him have a claw or a paw in. Swipe that away. Get out of here. Get behind me, Satan. Holy Spirit, lead the way. Be in front of me. So I want to bring to you another analogy, and that's what we're talking about with the atmosphere. Praise and worship music is so important to the Lord. You know, the Bible talks about God inhabiting the praises of His people. I mean, if you want to be filled up with the Holy Spirit, you need to be constantly praising God. And that's not just worship music in, in listening to worship music in your car, in your home, wherever you're in. It's to just be praising Him, always giving thanks to God with your lips, you know. Like the psalmist says, I'll bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. And if God inhabits the praises of His people... Surely he would want to fill up and be within a righteous vessel that is always praising the Lord, always giving thanksgiving to God in everything. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning you. I mean, think about it. If you're just constantly not glorifying God, not being thankful towards him, you're not creating an atmosphere where God's Holy Spirit wants to dwell. You're creating an atmosphere where God's Holy Spirit does not want to dwell. So if we want to be filled up with the Spirit, we must constantly be praising the Lord with our heart, with our mouth, with our words, with our actions, with our whole being. So I want, I want to give you this analogy, all right? Picture praise and worship music. Just as we've seen in reading this scripture, I want you to think of praise and worship music as a demon repellent. That's right, my friends, a demon repellent. The same way in the natural, we use insect repellent to repel the mosquitoes, the bugs, and the flies. Praise and worship music is a demon repellent. The demons hate it. They cannot stand it. They must flee. It reminds them of their glory that they once had. Especially Lucifer, where he was... That was his, that was his thing, praising and worshipping the Lord. He was the worship leader in heaven. It constantly reminds them of what they've lost. And now we are the sons and daughters of God. Now we are the worshippers who worship God in spirit and in truth. Praise the Lord. We are now that royal priesthood, that holy nation, peculiar people. To give praises to him who hath called us out of darkness and into his marvelous light. So... We must constantly praise and worship because this creates a pure and a light atmosphere and it repels the demons away. All right, so important. You think about it. You're, you're in your room, right? You've got your Bible open. Thy word is a lamp. You've got, you got light open. You're looking at it. You're reading it. You've got some praise and some worship music in the background. It's filling up the atmosphere. You're praying to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Think about that atmosphere that it's creating. You're on the phone. You just got to call up from the brethren. You, you talk, oh, praise the Lord, brother. God is good. Look at that atmosphere you've just created in that room. That's a holy, that's a pure, that's a light atmosphere. That's somewhere where the, the warmth of God's Holy Spirit wants to dwell. He'll come and fill up that place. And that's what we, that's what we need to do. And that's the, the meat behind this message. But if you're someone who is listening to secular music, worldly music, this is displeasing to the Lord. And you must repent because not only are you harming yourself spiritually in opening footholds for the enemy, but it's also displeasing towards God because that's not what he made music for. God didn't make music to glorify man. God didn't make music to glorify sin. God didn't make music to glorify the devil. He made it to glorify him, glorify the Lord Jesus Christ. So let's always... Sing with grace in our hearts, making sweet melody unto the Lord. Singing unto Him with, with psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, making sweet melody in our hearts to the Lord. So I pray this could be an encouragement to you, brethren, to keep on praising and worshipping the Lord, not only in songs, but in everything you do. Always giving praise and thanksgiving to God, for this is the will of Christ Jesus for your life. And God bless you all. Amen.